all right guys so today we're gonna make some sorrel and if you're caribbean you know around this time you have to have sorrel in your fridge christmas cannot be around the corner and you don't have sorrel in your fridge that just not making any sense you have to have sorrel in your fridge so i bought me a pack of dried sorrel that i got in the supermarket if you live in the caribbean most likely you would have your freshly picked sorrel available to you but i do live in the u.s so thankfully there is that option that dry a sorrel option so i'm going to go ahead and add some ginger to my sorrel you want to add some spices that add flavor to your sorrel so i'm going to add some ginger cinnamon sticks i'm going to add some clove in there some little lime sorry lemon peel lemon zest you could even add bay leaf in your sorrel as well and be careful with the clove though because clove is very potent you don't want to add too much clove in there so i'm adding a couple um sprigs of clove and then you want to fold your pot up and let the sorrel come up to a boil Then you just want to give that a little stir and you want to let everything come up to a boil let the sorrel the cinnamon clove everything let all of that get familiar with each other in the pot shake hands hug each other whatever they gotta do to release all of that goodness that we need so you're just gonna let that come up to a boil Look at that, she nice and red. You know, people say that sorrel is the sweetest red thing you can have around Christmas time. And I don't really know all of that, you know, but um, <laughs> it is one of the top tier drinks that you have to have around Christmas time. And you see me adding a little bit more ginger because I do love ginger. So, look, she bubbling. She bubbling nice. <laughs> unless she bubbles some more you guys i'm getting excited sorrel just speaks of christmas to me and if you're caribbean you know what i'm talking about so after the sorrel boil for a couple of minutes you want to go ahead and drain it to remove the liquid separate the liquid from the sorrel and all of that other stuff that you had in your pot so i'm going ahead and drain that and you want to let it completely cool down before you go ahead and sweeten it all right All right, so my sorrel cooled down at this point. So let's go ahead and sweeten it. I have my white sugar, my essence, and my rum. So I'm just gonna add some white sugar in there. I prefer to use white sugar. Brown sugar has a stronger flavor and you do not want it to overpower the other flavors you got going on in the sorrel. I would not advise you use brown sugar. But yeah, I'm using some white sugar. Go ahead and sweeten that. And then I'm going to add a little bit of mixed essence. Not too much. Not too much. Okay. Just a little bit. And then you want to add some rum, which will preserve the sorrel for longer. Make the drink last longer. 
I'm not adding too much because my niece and my nephew got a drink out of this. And I don't want to make the kids drunk, you know. So I'm just adding a little bit just to preserve the sorrow. You could add more rum if you want to. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> look at that nice, rich, red wine, berry type liquid that you have here. As I said, the dry sorrow would give you that. And there is a darker sorrow if you from the Caribbean. You know, the sorrow comes out a little bit more red because you have that fresh sour that you pick from the tree. But it pre tastes pretty much the same thing. It's, you know, the same thing. All right. So, yeah, I'm tasting it to see if it's nice and sweet. Like, I like it. And that's basically it. Put some ice in your glass. And let's go ahead and pour us up some sour, shall we? I do want to take this time to wish you all a happy holidays and thank you so much for watching.